Today I'm going to show you how I make three meals out of one pound of hamburger meat. Yes, one pound of hamburger meat. You make big, big pots of stuff or make um, just more than enough um, food for you and your um, family. Please use one pound in one meal. But um, today I'm going to show you how I make three meals. Yes, three meals out of one pound of hamburger meat. And I always end up eating the food instead of having a lot of leftovers. So today I'm going to show you how I do it. We have a little bit of sea salt. Not a lot of it, just a little bit. We have some garlic salt. Not a lot of that either. We have some paprika. I love paprika on everything. And now we're going to stir the meat up. See my hamburger cooking by itself? Gonna have all that flavor with the onions and jalapeno peppers and green peppers and seasoning um, on the hamburger. Gonna be so delicious. And like I said, you can turn it down and slow cook it. Turn my hamburger over. Do not flatten your hamburger. Um, out. Just give it a little tab like this so that it keeps all the juices inside of it instead of it being dry. But it's going to get all that flavor from all the seasonings that I'm cooking the other part of the meat with. Don't that look delicious? Look at my hamburger. Juicy. Juicy, not dry. Juicy. Look at all the flavors it's going to have. As you guys can really see. See, my hamburger is off to itself. I'm cooking the other meat on the other half of the skillet. not dry. It's got all those seasonings from the other part of the meat. It's just about done. See, you don't want to press your hamburger too hard because you want it to be juicy, not dry. Now, my meat is done. Now, I'm going to drain the meat. And my hamburger is done, so I'm going to put that aside in a bowl. Now, this is my hamburger for tomorrow or later on tonight. Separate it is um, my hamburger meat that I season and I can make me some nachos or some tacos and this is where I drain the hamburger meat and this is what I'm going to be making my chili with and that's three meals hamburger tacos or nachos chili or you can make a little pan of um, spaghetti.
now I'm going to pour a cup of maybe two cups or one cup of water. Yeah, I only need one cup. Look at that. See, you would use a big pot, but this is my favorite skillet I've had for a long time. And I cook, it's only myself, so I cook everything in this skillet. I have the fire turned down. Medium heat. Oh, it smells so good. Like I said, you can use chili beans because a lot of people like um, beans in theirs. I like beans in mine, but I have to mash them up because I don't like when I eat my chili biting into big beans. And it tastes so good too. Like I usually use pinto beans in my chili. And even if I use um, chili beans, I mash them too. This is more than enough for me. It's meaty. And this is, I made three meals out of, out of one pound of hamburger meat. And see, and then I'll eat that. I won't have to worry about, oh, I got all these leftovers you know, that I end up throwing away at the end of the week because I didn't eat the leftovers because I didn't have the taste bud. And you know, we're all locked up in the house right now. So it's just like your taste buds are so off of everything. Some more chili beans. Well, pinto beans, mashed because I like the taste of the, the pinto beans in there, but I just don't like them when they're big beans. A lot of kids don't like those big beans in their chili either, so if you have kids that don't like the beans, mash them up. You're still going to taste it. So good. Now I'm going to add oh my God, a little bit more water. Just a little bit. Now I'm going to turn my heat all the way down to low on five. If you have an electric stove and let it simmer on its own. Just a little tad. Is this sugar? Or a salt of sugar to it. Just 
a little, not much. That takes away from the bitterness from the chili powder. looking for that um, and it gives it a it gives it a different type of um, tomato taste put a little sweetness to it but not much it just it just gives it a different type of I spill some. it just helps with the tomato sauce or tomato paste, whichever one you're using. The ketchup, just give us a little bit of twist. Just like one cup of it and you're fine. Now this is done. Only thing I have to do now is pour it in the bowl. Okay guys, I'm done washing the dishes. And this is the finished product. This is my chili. I can eat on that all day. Or I can eat some chili now. Make me a hamburger later. Make me a taco, nacho cheese um, with the other meat. I have some leftover onions that's cut up. Green peppers, jalapeno peppers. Onions cut up for my hamburger. I have seasonings left. I use these little cups. They have tops on them. So the next time I make chili or hamburger meat, I can use the rest of the seasoning. Okay guys, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Subscribe and like. And I'm out of here.